Hello, um, today I'm going to be talking about a topic I didn't really think I was even going to touch upon, but, there. but uh, this whole thing has been blowing up, so I'm like, since Star Wars is a topic I often talk about, why not mention something of it? So, Obviously, about the of the title, <clears throat> judging by it, it's about Kelly Marie Tran, um, and apparently, uh, fans have been harassing her about the character Rose Tico and people not liking the character. So I guess they're taking it out all on her, supposedly. Uh, the reason I say that is because she herself has not issued anything, any statement through other means of social media. Um, uh, all of her posts are gone, but her profile is still up. I don't follow her, so I have no idea uh, what it is she posts. I'm sure about Star Wars and things of that nature since she's in the franchise and other works, but I don't know all what's been going on on her end. She's not said a single thing. It's all been the studio and uh, the news organizations that are writing about this. Now, again, maybe there were fans who were complaining about the character and harassing her. That is a possibility, and until we get official word from her, I'm going to be a bit skeptical on the whole thing myself. Um, a few things could be the result of this. One, obviously that could be the case. Two, maybe she just wanted to delete most and or all of her stuff until later on when she wanted to post again. Maybe she just wants to take a break and I guess that for her was the best way to do so without just deleting her Instagram account altogether. Another reason could be, uh, you know, you know, with a second, with that thing I mentioned, she could also just want to spend time alone with her, her, her uh, friends or family, you know, just, just want some alone time, just wants time to herself before she does more shooting. Uh, the third option could be that she, uh, you know, could have done what Daisy Ridley did. People thought, I guess, fans harassed her, so she, like, did something similar, but then she said, you know, she just took a break from social media because she just couldn't handle the pressure of being a huge person people follow and talk to, like on social media, like comment, like, and all that stuff, like she couldn't handle the pressure. So maybe that's what's happening with Kelly Marie Tran. Now another option uh, could be Instagram maybe deleting her stuff, her profile. Now, I have no clue as to how this would done, but you would think they would just delete it all together, right? That could be. Maybe this is, though, maybe this is a diff different thing. Like, maybe they delete all one's post, and then unless they go back and see all their stuff has gone, and then start being active on it, things could be fine, and won't get, you know, their stuff won't be deleted. I only mention this because another Star Wars actor, Ewan McGregor, his Instagram account is deleted. It's gone. I guess he was not being active for quite some time. Like the last post he made was of la was I guess last year, and you know that was it. Maybe what they did because he wasn't being active. First, maybe they deleted all of his posts, and then maybe they, after a while, like a few days or a week or so, they deleted his account altogether. I guess. Um, or may they just delete accounts altogether and don't just do it like that. I have no idea. I've 
was not even aware of Ewan McGregor's account got uh, uh, was removed until like a earlier this week, maybe last week. I just uh, I found out about it. And I was like, I was just surprised. I was like, wow. And then to find out that it was Instagram that did it. I mean, I don't know though. I guess this might seem unlikely, like the scenario I set up. So it might seem unlikely that it was. Instagram that did this. Um, but it's just weird that I guess if you're not active for X amount of time, you're gonna, your account will be deleted. So I guess just be warned if you don't, if you have an Instagram account, you better be somewhat active. You better either be posting or liking and or commenting on stuff. Following people, unfollowing people. Be active in some way. That's weird, but yeah, I mean, I, it, it, this whole thing is just so, it's very, I, I don't know, uh, she could just be taking a break from social media and will come back later when she seems more okay with things and isn't, isn't feeling a whole lot of pressure. I don't know. We don't know for sure. Um, but obviously, if fans were going and harassing her, uh, that's very unfortunate and that shouldn't happen. Um, uh, but again, maybe this is something just made up by Disney because Solo isn't doing well. It is not doing well at all at the box office. It's tanking. It's the worst Star Wars film to perform and um, some think The Last Jedi has something to do with that because <laughs> again I, I mean I talked about it I didn't think it was a bad movie I thought it was fairly decent but because of how divisive The Last Jedi was like that was the movie that really seemed to break the camel's back for so many people they will never see another Star Wars movie again now um, which seems to be fairly true with Solo like, you know, um, obviously I'm going to see the movies even though I haven't been impressed with the episode films, mainly because of Kathleen Kennedy's management at Lucasfilm and what she's done with the stories and J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson not really challenging her on things and if they did challenge her on anything I'm sure it was something pretty minute and not all that important um, but it's just so weird it's so this whole thing is so weird and suspicious with like Solo being out like yeah Second week, yeah, second week, second week uh, out, and it's not performing real well. That's not a good thing. Um, that's a bad sign. Um, uh, I feel the numbers of Star Wars films will be declining even more so. Um, and there is word Kathleen Kennedy will be. Leaving Lucasfilm in September, and she will pick her successor. This is just these are just rumors. Um, not sure how you know valid these are. I mean, hey, these are valid. I, I've seen articles, seen videos, people talk about this kind of stuff. At least about that topic, and it's just so. I don't know, Star Wars, it's an interesting time for Star Wars. And, uh, the, just the franchise and the fan community all around. Um, and again, I mean, I myself was not a fan of Rose Tico, but I have nothing against Kelly Marie Tran. She seems very, like a very nice person in the interviews I've seen of her. Um, some of the new cast members might rub me wrong the wrong way. 
like just I don't know just some like maybe some comments or like maybe some don't seem to understand Star Wars and are trying to think of it as they or get it as they go along and that kind of I guess rubs me the wrong way and that I'm like shouldn't you know a, a, not you don't need to be an expert on Star Wars but shouldn't you have seen the movies at least before you were in the movie like Daisy Ridley was never uh, into Star Wars until like she said J.J. Abrams introduced her to Star Wars which I'm like wow like you didn't at any point uh, see it accidentally even okay Uh, I remember there was one video I saw with her and Mark Hamill and we were talking about The Last Jedi and um, there was just a look she, she kind of gave as Mark was talking about how his character is so different in The Last Jedi and just he disagreed with him. I don't know. There's like a certain look that, that at the first glance when I saw him like, seemed a bit smug and whatever like hmm. It's like a real bummer for you. I don't have that problem, but I'm. Eh, I guess it's a real bummer for you. Uh, can't relate to that problem. I mean, I don't think it was, but at first glance, I mean, upon reviewing it again, I did see it sometime later. I didn't think so, but you know, I'm just saying this because, like, you know, Kelly Marie Tran doesn't seem like that a, a bad person. Even Daisy really doesn't, but she, like that one time, she kind of like. Just, I guess just the way she looked at Mark as he was talking just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Then again, I watched it later on. And it, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe it was just... I don't know. I guess it was just how she looked at him as he was talking. It just kind of like, in the moment of you first viewing it, just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this whole Kelly Marie Tran thing... <laughs> She seems like a nice person. She seems great. I hope she wasn't harassed, because if she was, that's very unfortunate. Um, but until she says anything herself, I will be skeptical um, about whether this is true. And um, whether it was just something made up by the uh, studio and other news organizations that got it from the studio and they're just pumping this out to draw more attention to Star Wars because Solo isn't doing well. I think that is a very good possibility. I'm not saying that is the end-all fact of everything. We just need to hear from her. Once we do, see if the record is record could straighten out so we can know what all happened. Um, but yeah, that's just my thought on the matter. Uh, next week I hope to talk about something else. Again, I still want to get away from talking about Star Wars all the time. I mean, I love the f Star Wars, I love the first six films and everything, but I just, you know, after a while you just want to quit talking about some, a certain topic all the time. Although I do notice my view count doesn't go up as much when I don't talk about Star Wars, but I'm still trying to work and do other work about talking about other things. But, you know, uh, see what happens, I guess. Um, I do have a, an idea for next time, though, but I guess I'll just remain till next time. But, uh, so, until next time, I shall see you all later, and uh, hope you all have a good day, and a good weekend.